The Trees. A poem by Andrian Rich. What message does the poet give through this poem? Let's start with the first stanza. The trees inside are moving out into the forest, the forest that was empty all these days. Where no bird could sit, no insect hide, no sun bury its feet in shadow. The forest that was empty all these nights will be full of trees by morning. The trees inside are moving out. Means the decorative trees in the house are moving out into the forest. The forest where no bird could sit, no insect hide. This means the trees are coming out to the barren land which was empty all these days. Where no sun bury its feet in shadow. What does this mean? In a forest, the sun rays pass through the trees and make patterns on the ground. That's why the poet said this. Because if there are no trees, sun cannot bury its feet in shadows. The forest that was empty will be full of trees by morning. Means it is night when the trees are coming out of the house to the land, which will be full of trees by the morning. All night, the roots work to disengage themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The leaves strain towards the glass, small twigs, stiff with exertion. Long cramped boughs, shuffling under the roof, like newly discharged patients, half dazed, moving to the clinic doors. All night, the roots work to separate themselves from the cracks in the veranda floor. The roots are coming out of the cracks which were made by them, on the veranda floor. The leaves, push the window glass very strongly, because the leaves feel suffocated inside, and need oxygen. The small twigs, are stiff hardened, as they are making effort to go out. The long branches, also try hard, to escape from the roof, in the same way. As newly discharged patients go out, half sleepy, moving to the door. This stanza shows, how roots, leaves, twigs, and branches struggle, to go out of the house. I sit inside, doors open to veranda, writing long letters, in which I scarcely mention the departure of the forest from the house. The night is fresh, the whole moon shines, in a sky still open. The smell of leaves and lichen still reaches, like a voice into the rooms. This stanza is about the poet, Adrian Rich. She is sitting inside the house, doors open to veranda. She is writing letters. But, in the letters, she doesn't mention that the trees from her house are going out. But why? We humans always ignore the important things. We don't take care of the trees. In the same way, the poet also does not pay attention to their departure. The nigi is fresh, and it is a full moon in the open sky. The smell of leaves and lichens in the veranda reaches like a voice into the rooms. My head is full of whispers, which tomorrow, will be silent. Listen! The glass is breaking. The trees are stumbling forward into the night. Winds rush to meet them. The moon is broken like a mirror, its pieces flash now, and the crown of the tallest oak. The poet said, is full of whispers, that is, the sounds made by the trees. Then, she suddenly calls our attention. The glass, which the leaves were trying to break, is breaking. The trees are moving forward. Winds come to meet them, as if the wind outside was waiting for them to break the window. The moon is broken like a mirror. Means, when the trees were inside, the whole moon was visible, but when they go out, the moonlight is falling on the crown of the tallest oak tree. Now what is the theme of this poem? The trees are a symbol of women. The women who were staying inside their houses are coming out to the world where they will do their real work, that is, spread of humanity.